Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this video we will learn about data export services in Salesforce. Now first we will understand what is data export services in Salesforce. For that let's jump to the Salesforce org. Now open any object. So here I am opening the account object. To see the alt records here I am changing the list view from recently view to all accounts. Now here you can see here we have multiple accounts. But currently these accounts are in the Salesforce database. That means if you want to see any information about their record or the account, you need to log in in Salesforce and after that you can see the information about the records. Now what if you don't have network and even though you want to see that information, for that what we can do? We can export these records to our system. That we can achieve using data export services in Salesforce. So in this video we will deep dive into what is data export services in Salesforce. After that I will explain different methods to export the data and then we will see how to export data from Salesforce org to the external system. So here I am going to explain data export services in Salesforce in detail. For that watch the video till end and don't miss any topic. After that you can also able to export your data from Salesforce org to the external system. And if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. So whenever we post a new video you will get an update. Now before moving ahead, here is very big announcement for the Salesforce Geekers. We recently launched a Salesforce admin training course. We explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way. So you can learn step by step with the confidence. So this course is for beginner to the advanced level. In that we have covered 10 modules, you will get lifetime access. So here you can see, here we have covered 10 modules introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup. After that Salesforce user management. Then we also have covered Salesforce apps, object and tabs. After that the Salesforce fields and formulas, UI customization in Salesforce. After that Salesforce reports and dashboards, Salesforce data management and Salesforce flows. So in this course we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level. So if you are serious about launching your Salesforce career, check out the course now. We have provided the link in the description box. You can go through it. Now let's jump to the topic. So the Salesforce provide data export services to help user backup and export their data for reporting, migration or storage. Then these services allows exporting data from Salesforce in different formats such as CSV file. The CSV file nothing but comma separated values. It's an extension like DOC means document and after that PDF. Like that the CSV file stores the data in the rows and column forms. After that to use the data export services or to export the data from the Salesforce or to our system. To use that admins or user needs the export permission to use it. After that the data export services exports the data in CSV format which is zip files. Now let's understand the different methods. So here we have two main methods for exporting the data. First one is data export wizard which is UI based export. That means the data export wizard is inbuilt feature in the Salesforce. And another one we have data loader which is API based export. That means to export the data using the data loader, we need to install the data loader tool or the application from the app exchange. The data loader tool we will see in the upcoming videos. In this video we will understand how we can export the data using data export wizard which is UI based export. In that also we have two types export now which is the manual and after that we also have the schedule export data. That means we can set the time and at that time the data automatically get export. Now let's understand how we can use the data export services to export the data from the Salesforce org to the external system. For that again let's navigate to the Salesforce org. Now I want to export this account to my PC. So for that what we need to do click on this gear icon then click on setup. So already we have seen the data export services is inbuilt feature in Salesforce. For that in the quick find box search for the data export services. Here you can see under the data option here we have data exports click on it. Now here you can see here we have some information let me zoom in. So here we have the data exports lets you prepare a copy of all your data in salesforce.com. From this page you can start the export process manually or schedule it to run automatically. After that when export is ready for the download you will receive an email containing a link that allows you to download the file. And after that the data export file are also available on this page for 48 hours after which time they are deleted. 
So now let's export the accounts. For that here you can see here we have two options export now and then schedule export. We also have seen the export now means we need to manually export the records from our Salesforce or to the our system. So first let's understand export now method for that here I'm clicking on that. Now let me zoom out this one. So here you can see here we have option export file encoding. So here you can select as per your requirement. Here I'm keeping as it is. After that here you can see here we have option include images, documents and attachments. So for example for any account you have added some attachments like files or something. If you want to download that one also for that you need to check this checkbox. After that here you can see include Salesforce files and the Salesforce CRM content document versions. So if you check this checkbox it will take time to exporting the data because these are the large files that's why it takes time to export in our system. And after that as you scroll down let me zoom in again. Here we have option start export and then cancel. Before that, before that here you can see here we have one checkbox that is checked include all data. That means if you want to export data from the all standard and custom objects, if you check this checkbox then from all the standard and custom objects the record will be get export to our system. But if you have large amount of data then it will take time to export from the Salesforce org to our system. So as per our scenario, we want to export only account records from the Salesforce org to our system. So here I am checking this account checkbox and then it will automatically get deselect. Again as you scroll down, here you can see here we have all standard and custom object. You can select as per our requirement. After selecting the object, here you can see here we have start export button, click on it. And now here you can see here we got message, your export has been queued you will receive an email notification when it is completed. When the data export will get complete, we will get an email. The data export services takes time to export the data from the Salesforce Org to system. Now it has been three minutes. Again, let me refresh the page. Now as I scroll down, here we have download action and the zip file also has been created. Also, we can check the email whether we received email or not. So here you can see your organization data export has been completed. Now to download the file, click on this download option and the download has been successfully completed. So the file that we downloaded is the zip file. So first we need to extract that file for that. Let me navigate to the download option. So here I open the file explorer. Here you can see the file that we downloaded. To extract the file, right click on this. And after that, here I am extracting this file. Now, now here is the extracted file, here I am opening this file and here you can see the account.csv file has been successfully created with the excel format. So here I am opening this one. And here you can see the fields and the information has been successfully exported from the account object to our external system. And how much record here we have? Here we have 13 record. The first one is the fields and other the 13th record here we have exported from the account object. Let's check the account object how many records we have. So here I am searching for the account again. Select the all account list view. And here you can see here also we have 13 records. That means all records has been successfully exported from the Salesforce or to our external system. As I scroll it, here you can see all the fields has been successfully exported. Now let's understand the another method which is scheduled export data using data export services or data export wizard. So here again I am navigating to the Salesforce org. Now this time I want to export the contacts record for that again here I am navigating to the setup in the quick find box again search for the data export. Now before that here you can see the file generated from the data export services. This file automatically get delete after 48 hours from this page. But in our system the downloaded file will not get deleted. And also here you can see the export now option has been get disabled. Because we can export the data only once using the data export services in a day. Now if you want to export another object data then another day you can export the data. But for the current date, you cannot use the export now option. 
So this is the limitation of data export services in Salesforce. Now let us understand the schedule export in Salesforce. So this time I will export the leads data from the Salesforce org to our system. So here I am clicking on schedule export. Again same options we have. After that scroll down. And now here you can see here we have the frequency to schedule the export data. So here we have on day then here we need to select date of every month. So let me scroll up. As I click on this here you can see the dates we have in month. From here you can select any date so that on that particular date the data export will be get started and on that date the records will get exported to our system. So here I am leaving one date as it is. After that here we have another option. As you click on this here you can see on the first, second, third, fourth and the last that means that means if I select the second and then here you can select the day. So here I am selecting Tuesday that means on every second Tuesday of every month the data will get exported. You, here you can select option as per your requirement. So here I am selecting first option then scroll down and here you can see start date, end date and then prefer start time. That means from which date you want to start the exporting here you need to select that date. So this is the current date. If you want to change the date click on this and then from here you can select the start date. So here I am selecting 5th of March and then also you can select the end date again as you click on it. So for the end date we are currently on the April month. So here I am selecting the 11th of June. So here in the start date we have selected 5th of March. That means for this month the data will not get exported because here you can see in the frequency we have selected on the first of every month. So in the next month that means that means April, May and then June. For these three months on the first of date the data will get exported. After that here you can see the prefer start time as you click on it. Here you can select the time on which time you want to export the data. So here I am selecting 9 am which is the office time. You can select time as per requirement and after that scroll down and here also we need to select the object for which object we want to export the data. So here I want to export the leads data here I am selecting this one and then click on save. Now here you can see as I said next schedule export 1st of April 2025 at 9 am. On this day the data will be get export after that 1st May and then 1st June. After the 1st of June this schedule export will be get disabled because because I think in the June we have selected 11th of June and that is why for the July the data export will not work or schedule export will not work. So in this way we can use data export wizard in Salesforce. I hope whatever I explain you understood that. If you like the video hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. So whenever we post a new video you will get an update. Thank you.